have a very special message for you during this holiday gift giving season. A very important message about our weapons policy here in the Harrisburg School District. Hi, I'm Vince Harper. I'm the Assistant Director for Special Education with the Harrisburg School District. Mr. Harper, uh, tell me, during this holiday season, what, is the, what, what was the motivation to send out this letter around weapons awareness for our parents and guardians? Uh, we just wanted to send out some correspondence to have um, parents understanding where we were with students and bringing any toys or anything. Uh, that looks like a weapon into um, into our schools, and the motivation behind it is uh, to make sure that everybody is safe, um, that they're not bringing them into school, um, that they're working with us, and that we're working with them to make sure that students. Uh, again, I'll keep going back to what the safety issue is, um, because that really is the ultimate motivation: is that we want students to be safe. We don't want them coming in um, and being disciplined for something as minor as a um, as a toy weapon but we have to take things like that pretty seriously. So as we talk about weapons and replicas and toys, what are some of the things that we're seeing, particularly uh, in urban school districts? Okay, um, well, you know, we'll see some of the squirt guns, we'll see some of that, um, but some of the ones that are of more concern would be, um, they're making some weapons out there that are pretty heavy, um, that look um, and feel like real weapons, and the, consternation that it causes for for us as a school district is determining whether or not it is a real is a real weapon um, puts everyone at harm so we have to respond to them as though they uh, would be a real weapon um, and unfortunately while they may just be a toy um, we don't have the luxury of um, finding that out right away and the possibility of it causing harm whether um, from a reaction for, from another student, for a reaction from a teacher, reaction from the general public as far as seeing what um, happens when, a, when a, something that should not be in school that um, ordinarily wouldn't be there is brandished um, in a school so it causes some, some concern for us. Let's talk about the consequences of, of bringing such replica toy weapons to school. Okay. Um, you know, we really try to have some um, discretion when we see, when we, um, when students bring it in, but um, most of the time it's going to be a suspension um, or an, an expulsion depending on the way that the weapon was brought in or the toy, the replica weapon was um, brought in and brandished in the school and the response that, that it elicited. So uh, tell us a little bit more about the expulsion. It's had a 45-day expulsion or up to one year. What are the guidelines there for, for expulsion? Uh, you know, I won't go too far into what the guidelines are, but I do know that um, the state regulations can impose up to a minimum of one-year expulsion for students that are found with a weapon in school. Okay, so basically at this point I just want you kind of to head off your next response by saying this holiday season, we're not telling parents what to purchase their kids, but what we are saying is that if you decide to purchase toy guns that they should not be brought to school. Yeah. So kind of lead in with this holiday season. Yeah. Yeah, this holiday season, we're not telling parents what to bring into um, or to buy their students for uh, for Christmas. Uh, that's up to them. Uh, what we're asking, we're requesting, is that if they do buy something that looks like a um, real weapon, uh, that they don't bring that in into school. Okay. All right. Um, and then I would say any kind of closing remarks about the importance of parent engagement and parents working uh, with the school district on this issue so that we can all create a safe school climate and a community climate as well. Yeah, I think that parents understand and we understand that there's a partnership to create safe schools. Uh, we have to work together in, in order for that to happen. So I think that that is the major reason why we're trying to send this out is so that parents understand that, one, we do want to provide a safe school and we respect the fact that um, we know that they want us to um, provide a safe school for their uh, students. So in order to do that, we have to work together on this. It's not um, us working um, uh, by ourselves, it's asking parents to have that conversation with students so that the students are aware, we can be fair to everyone, and there's no surprises should, a, um, should discipline happen if someone brings a weapon in the school. We enjoy working with the students. We know that um, the vast majority of our students are good kids. Uh, this message as far as uh, bringing in weapons is in no way a reflection of what we think is going on out there um, in the community. It's just a, a notice of what our response may have to be should it happen. So we want to be proactive in protecting their kids, being fair to them, and making sure that parents understand that we're here to work with you.
And is there a holiday greeting that you'd like to share with our parents and community at large? Sure. I hope that everyone has a great holiday season, and we look forward to everybody coming back uh, um, to the Harrisburg School District in the new year. Our future, future of Pennsylvania, the future of this nation, our future in this community, for all of us, I don't care where you live, runs through this building. And all the children you saw up there, all the teachers doing all the things that they're doing, we need them to do a really good job. And that's why I have been focused, among other things, but really first and foremost in education. It's the one intervention in the lives of our fellow citizens that we allow ourselves to make in a democratic system free market economy to make lives better, our lives. So I live in York County. I need the children here to get a good education. If they don't, my life is going to be diminished in York County. And you need the children in York County to get a good education. If you're in York County, York City, School District, all over the place where your lives are going to be diminished. So we need to invest in this. I've invested more in the last two years in public education than any governor in the history of Pennsylvania as far as I know. And that's not been easy, but it's been really important. One of the things I heard from one of the teachers is, is that, that beyond that, we need to, to, to make sure that we are giving the honor and respect that educators deserve. Hello Harrisburg and hello Harrisburg School District. We are broadcasting live from Foos Elementary School where I am joined with my good friend, Specialist Agent Mr. Jerry Mitchell from the Attorney General's Office of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. How are you? Good, how are you doing? Hey, I'm great. Today we are here doing some state mandated training for all students in uh, the Harrisburg School District, but yeah. right here at Foos. Uh, share with our viewers what we're talking about today. Today we're talking about Operation Safe Surf which is aimed at our elementary uh, students, designed to teach them online cyber safety. Again, if they wouldn't talk to strangers outside on the streets, they shouldn't talk to strangers inside the home as well or any of their devices. And again, a lot of our kids don't know the difference. They just see this whole environment is fun. So that's what we're trying to instill in them. No, it may not be fun. You know, you can get into a lot of trouble talking to strangers online. So as public relations coordinator for the district, I've had the privilege and the opportunity to work with you for the past two years uh, to coordinate internet safety education as well as cyber bullying. What is the difference? Or are they are they one and the same? Nowadays, they're pretty much are. I mean, you are going to be doing both online. A lot of this stuff has gone online versus offline, and it can lead to offline problems, especially with cyberbullying. Let's we'll start there first. A lot of this stuff starts online with the harassment and the bullying online with text, posts, videos, memes, something of that nature. Then once somebody sees it, the offense starts, and then it triggers an, you know, pretty much an offline scuffle or conflict. With cyber safety, same thing, kind of in reverse. With, again, it starts online with the communication. The next thing you know, someone who poses as their friend, a young child's friend, who is actually an older adult, tries to meet this child, but keeps talking to them, grooming them, to the, get to the point where the child totally trusts them. So not only are we talking <clears throat> about um, cyberbullying, uh, or what you call viral violence that happens yeah. online, we're also talking about protecting our children from sexual predators that could also be Absolutely. online. Absolutely. So, so what message do we want to send to parents about this important uh, education that we're providing for every student here in the Harrisburg School District? We encourage parents to, again, be lettered to the technology that their uh, child is using. If their kids are online, to a degree, the parents should be too. And we're not saying go out and learn every milk and cranny and every social media app out there, but just to be familiarized with the couple so that you know the creature features inside of these social media apps. This stuff is not going anywhere. Our kids are born into it. This is all they know, and it's the new standard. This is the new is for their lives. So again, be, ed be lettered to what your child is doing and ask questions. Talk to them. Get them out the house while you're driving someplace, while you're walking with them to school or from school. Ask questions. At the dinner table. At the dinner table, After wherever homework. it takes. Yeah. yeah, anywhere it is, anywhere you're at. But just make sure, hey, you know, what do you do online? Hey, you know, do you ever, somebody ever try to talk to you or you ever get a text message? Any one of those questions. And just see what they say and go from there. And then just remind them if something happens, let me or let someone, a responsible adult, know what's going on. 
So let's talk about some of the apps that we want our parents to be aware of. Not all, I mean, we're not just talking about Facebook right. and Instagram. What are some of the other sites that parents need to be cautious of? One of the big ones is going to be definitely Snapchat. That is a really big one uh, because kids, again, content control, they have been taught by other kids mostly that, hey, I can put something online and guess what? I can control the content of it. Once it opens, it'll disappear and I won't get in any trouble. Whisper, Secret, apps like that, kick. Hidden Calculator, Kick, yeah, all those. But let's go the opposite direction. There are also really cool apps out there that are cyber safety, like Gooseberry. They can, which is an app, which That's will, new. Gooseberry, yeah, okay. Gooseberry, which will teach kids. It's designed to teach kids. Hey, listen, cyber safety regarding emails, regarding phone calls, regarding online safety. So that's an app that, they, and it's a game. And they can go through this game, and the game plays, you know, the kid plays the game to see, okay, what's bad and what's good. And the parent goes along with them. Wow. And they keep track with it. It's really, it's a really great app. And I like that last part, that parents can go along with them. Absolutely. Well, there you have it, Harrisburg School District, from Mr. Jerry Mitchell, specialist agent with the Attorney General's Office of the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, working and partnering with the Harrisburg School District to increase awareness of Internet Absolutely. safety and cyberbullying right here in the Harrisburg School District.
On behalf of the Harrisburg School District, the School Board of Directors, our staff, students, and families, we wish you joy, peace, and all the happiness this season brings. In addition, my friends from Cougar Academy wish to say... Happy Holidays! Hello, everyone. I am LSR Roy, Jr. I am the Vice President of the Harrisburg School Board. And I want to take this time to wish each and every one of you a very Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Hola, de parte del Departamento y de, de Administración y del de Distrito Escolar de Harrisburg, de, deseamos una feliz Navidad para todos y un próspero año nuevo. Dios les bendiga. Bye. To the Harrisburg community, on behalf of the Harrisburg School Board, Happy Holidays. On behalf of the Grounds and Maintenance Department, we want to wish you a happy holiday. On behalf of Public Relations and our Multimedia Communications Department, happy, happy holidays. holidays. On behalf of the Human Resources Department, happy, happy holidays. holidays. On behalf of the IT Department, happy holiday. From the business office, season's greetings. From us to you, happy holidays. On behalf of the... Three, two, one. So we're going on behalf of the IT department. I'm going to say on behalf of the IT department. Have a happy holiday. Just happy holiday. Happy holiday. <laughs>